Friday the 8th of October. Uh, the sample you just saw me take was a sample out of the vet. Um, I think I put penicillin in the vet. So it's a, a drug, so um, it's actually orbit in LA. I believe that I may have sucked a little bit up the pipe when the test bucket overflowed. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a sample to um, Thames where the guy from QCons lives. He would come and check it at our place, but it costs you. So I've got a few other jobs to do on the way. So um, that's why I'm taking the sample to him. But if you put penicillin in the vat and you send it to the dairy factory, you get a huge fine because obviously um, they end up having to tip a whole lot of milk out because your milk gets combined with other people's milk. So um, yeah, that's why I'm getting it tested. It may not even they may not even suck anything up, but I don't want to take that risk. So um, I've just dropped our trailer off, our car transport trailer off at the farm where we used to share milk and. Uh, Gonna, on the way back I'm going to pick up our four wheel drive, the Nissan Safari, it's out there at the moment and on the way over to Thames I'm going to pick up some brake pads for my motorbike and a tractor pin, I need a tractor pin um, for the John Deere because we brought it, Suzanne paid for it this morning so we brought the John Deere 6630 with 9000 hours on the clock so yeah that's what I'm up to Today, this morning, didn't get up to a huge amount, just uh, normal milk cows and go to the runoff and then uh, had some visitors come for morning tea and then we had uh, lunch at my parents, so, and the kids are staying at my parents tonight, so it'll be a quiet night at home. We'll still have the baby, but the three, the three older ones are staying there, so it'll be good. So, yeah, we'll catch up with you later on. We also had our... Uh, last cow calf on the 5th of October so it's good to get that done Suzanne's happy no more calves to feed the last calves went on the bobby so she's all done just got uh, one more of calves to feed now after weaning some so yeah all's well grass is starting to grow we've got a bit of sunshine this afternoon had rain yesterday and today still haven't sprayed the turnips out so it's been a couple of uh, weaned the calves not yesterday the day before so the 6th of uh, October we weaned a few calves so yeah and it's windy today so I don't think I'm going to get it done I was hoping I might get it done this afternoon but we'll just have to wait and see just got a new fitness for the stabiliser arms on the John Deere it's not exactly the same but it'll work um, yeah that's it there so be good Every tractor I've bought has always been missing one of these. The Fiat 8894 was the same, missing one of those, so we're sorted now. Got my supplies, front and rear um, brake pads for my KTM. Also got a spark plug, so she'll be happy now. Well, I was hoping to see how it's done, video how it's done, but I just dropped it in his letterbox and he said he's busy for the next 10 minutes and I just had a call from the contractor and uh, he wants to cut the silage this afternoon at the runoff, so really need to get back because I've got to roll up a fence um, so he can cut the whole paddock. So better get back. Second carbs I got here. Alright, let's go. So the reason why we had the safari out here is because for Ezra's birthday back in uh, 18th of September, his birthday is the 19th, but on the 18th of September we took a few of his mates four wheel driving. Um, his uncle and his grandfather came along as well, so um, we had a blast. They had good fun up in the bush. Well, we made it to the runoff. I'm just rolling this fence up. It goes down the middle of this patch, just split it up. But it's really good grass in here. It's really uh, taken off down at the runoff. This is base. We drilled base into this paddock. So, yeah, the mower's just finished over there. You should be here in a couple of minutes.
still nice and green underneath so you know that's um you're gonna get good regrowth once the silage is taken off you know a quick response because it's not going all uh, stalky so that no, looks good it's a bit of moisture in it but they're planning on bailing it on uh, monday maybe sunday if the weather turns crap but it looks like it'll be all right till monday so uh, i think they're going to turn it once just to help it dry because it is quite fresh quite green silage so yeah go and carry on watching bit noisy because they're not getting their milk to go with their muesli as Suzanne said so yeah they're looking good though they're happy sitting down so that silage of the runoff that we're doing um, we don't have that surplus at home yet but uh, we are working on it the weather's starting to change a bit um, yeah but that'll be all for today's video thanks for watching and we'll catch you somewhere else on the farm see ya